Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it just seems like a really long time since we've had a chatty uh, little update, so I thought I would just invite you to my morning coffee, and I'm gonna give you all the tea, all the updates, how life has been going, the good things, the bad things, all the things. All right, if you're new here, I'm Claire. It would be kind of weird that you're new here since this is like a life update video, but just in case, hi. So my channel is mainly cooking, uh, budget lifestyle, family content. Um, I do like to throw in some vlogs in once in a while, hauls, taste tests, things like that. Um, but rarely do I ever get a chance to like sit down and like tell you stuff. And there's nothing like real dramatic coming up. Well, maybe, maybe a little, but it just, it seemed like this was a good time. Like we should talk once in a while, right? After all, at the end of the day, I really do feel like y'all are my real friends in real life. Uh, I've shared lots of things with you guys and you have shared right back and supported me and all sorts of stuff. So I I'm gonna tell you all the things I've been snapping my real life, like in-person friends about on Snapchat all week. Okay, let's start with exciting happy news first. You guys, I got a new wedding ring. I'm so excited. Now, if you're like a follower of mine, then you know that the ring I had before, which was a beautiful and lovely ring, it was a diamond that my husband's grandmother gave him. When we got married, we really didn't have a lot of money and so we just had to use what we had and it was lovely and perfect for me at the time. Um, however, it was never quite my style and I always had my heart set on a vintage uh, piece of jewelry, something old with a story and um, something gold and you know, all the things. And my husband has been hinting that, you know, we're almost ready to get a new ring, you know? And then oh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth passed and my husband was like, I know you want like a Princess Diana slash royal family style ring. Let's, let's find one. Let's find an antique dealer. Let's find you that ring. And we did, we found it. Here she is. Oh, here she is in all of her glory. It is a blue sapphire. It's got diamonds around it. It's technically called like a daisy ring. It is from the 1960s. It's from England. And I'm very excited about it. So I felt like I was about to film a video, of a cooking video, and I was like, everyone's gonna notice that I have a different ring on. I have to tell them about it. And plus, I'm so excited that it finally came. This is something that I instantly called my best friend to tell about. So why wouldn't I tell you? I got a new ring and I'm very excited. And Gianni, he smashed it, nailed it best husband ever. All right, moving on to our next order of business. Oh my gosh, you guys, both my boys are in school. And if you follow me, you probably have kind of realized that. I did post um, as well on their like first day on Instagram, um, but I didn't like vlog it or anything like that. I'm actually trying more and more to not like cut the boys out completely, but just like try to be a little bit more respectful. Now that they're sort of getting old enough to have like opinions and stronger personalities. I think it's different when you just have like a baby or a toddler and you're putting them all over the internet. Like, you know, a baby is a baby kind of, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more protective of them as they get older and like their sort of presence online. So I of course will still be uploading vlogs that they're in and taste tests. They love making those videos. Uh, but some of those more like personal kind of moments, I'm really trying to just focus on living in that moment and not like trying to curate a perfect video of said moment. Um, and of course, I, I do try to make sure that I have their permission if they ever feel like not in the mood and like my oldest is getting like moodier as he's getting a little older. I think that happens to all kids. And like, I do not want to pressure him in any way to like make a video and like perform. Like I'm not into that. That's not my style of parenting. Um, so I did not do a back to school sort of vlog for them like I've done in the past. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that school is going amazing. Fox is in first grade, Desmond is in kindergarten now. I just like, I can't believe how old they are. It's going by so fast and they're both just thriving in their classes and I am just so relieved. I feel like every parent kind of worries about how that's all gonna go. Is your kid gonna be bullied? Is your kid gonna be the bully? Like what what's gonna happen? And it's just going really well. Both of them are just really loving it and making friends and having a great time. So, so much relief for me. I also, this is another big thing that's happened in my life since we talked. 
guys I like I went back to work I have a real job again I did that so if you've been following me since the beginning you know I just sometimes work and sometimes don't for long extended periods of time I am a dog groomer I've been grooming for over 12 years and I've been at this current salon for a decade 10 whole years the women that I work with there I am very very close to and when I I quit in the middle of the pandemic things were just getting really too difficult to sort of manage as a lot of us left our jobs in that time period and then after I think about it was like seven months or something I started subbing for people who were out sick and then I started going back one day a week and like now that the kids are in school both of them all day I decided to go back two days a week so I guess I'm not like a full-time person with the job but I am going back to work two days a week and honestly you guys it's because I really enjoy it like I really love the people I work with I love my clients the money is amazing for the amount of time that I put in there's really nothing else I could do that could bring in that type of extra income and you know I'm all about a side hustle I'm all about padding up the savings or uh, you know achieving some financial goal and we do have a big one I will tell you in a minute uh, so uh, me going back to work really just made sense I still have enough time for the channel and enough time to maintain the house and two days that I can go to work because I have the time because my kids are at school now I'm a school mom so that has been kind of a change and an adjustment uh, around the home but so far I'm really loving it and if any of my if any of my girls are watching I love you and I'm happy to be back at work and I missed you all right let's talk about that big financial goal that I'm trying to make more money for we have decided that we are going to take another trip next year and this year if you're you know a follower of mine you know we went a little out of control with the trips we went to Germany which we had been planning since before the pandemic so that had already been like paid for and like planned for many years because it kept getting moved but then we like randomly went to London for a week which was not in the plan uh, because I had to see some ABBA holograms sing and I do not regret that that that's worth every dime of the money I've ever owned because it was seriously that intensely magical I like seriously the ABBA concert was like going to the year 3000 I don't know how that technology exists you you couldn't tell me that those weren't real people up there I mean every sequence every everything anyway I digress it was really incredible anyway so we really went over the top with travel we haven't traveled like that ever that was Jenny's first big trip ever uh, so we really went over budget when it came to trips and we thought okay we're, we're definitely gonna take like a year or so off of trips but then we're planning something big again you guys and it's because my husband's grandmother who we are so lucky to still have with us and who we love dearly she has like this lifelong wish of going back to the town where her father is from which is in Calabria in Italy and um, she's not getting any younger and it's just like if we've learned anything through the pandemic it's that if there's something you want to do you got to do it and so she needs some travel companions and obviously Johnny and I especially me are very comfortable planning that sort of thing uh, so spring break next year we are going with Gianni's grandma to the homeland we are we are going to the tip of the boot so actually we're going to Naples and then we're going to take a train down to Calabria for the day I really am very excited to do this it's gonna be kind of a lot of work planning it all and making it all happen but I'm, I'm all about that I'm all about that life and just the fact that my husband can spend this time with his grandmother and they can go to this place that they're from I've really been lucky that I've been able to visit my ancestral homes my family is primarily German and also a little bit English uh, and Polish and I have been to those places and I feel very fortunate that I mean they're all kind of close to each other so it's like not that difficult my husband on the other hand would have a hard time getting all that in because he is many things but anyway uh, I think it's really cool that we're doing this and it's gonna be fun but you know we're gonna do it right which means I need more money which means I need to groom more dogs so there's all that house housing changes okay so I did post a video where I redid our buffet and I love it but then it really got the ball rolling and you guys know how it is you redo one thing and then all of a sudden you get all these little ideas and while obviously I'm definitely committed to 
like a mid-century modern vibe this house was built in 1959 most of my pieces these two pieces were actually created in the 1950s i think 1959 um but lately i've just been so into my garden and so into like the cottage core aesthetic that i'm like trying to do some interesting blends of maybe like a danish modern meets cottage core i don't know I, I don't know if I'll necessarily be able to pull either of those off strictly, but it's just, it's about the vibes, right? The other day I got on the marketplace, I could not believe this huge piece of art for $20. And you know, cause I'm a budget queen. I have this old credenza that I had used when we first bought this house and had been sitting in the garage. I refinished it with paint I already had. And I couldn't believe that the piece of art matched the paint I already had and the wall, my blue wall is perfect. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so before I had my yellow credenza here with a piece of art, and now I've just swapped it out. I refinished this. I painted it green. I kept these. I sanded them down and just um, put a layer of poly over them. And I got this huge piece of art. And then I moved this cabinet was in the other room and now it's in the living room. This is like where the sofa is and stuff. So I, I redid that and I really like it. And I just wanted to show you. I hope you really feel like you're sitting here having coffee with me because I'm literally just talking to this camera like it is you, literally, so. All right, I suppose we're coming down to the last thing because it's a sad thing and I, I feel like I have to share it. I don't really want to talk about it that much, but uh, a lot of you know my dog, Duke, because uh, he's been there since the beginning. I've had him for 13 years since I was a teenager. He is my best good boy and he, unfortunately, his life is coming to an end. He is still with us as of right now, uh, but his health has been steadily declining and I know you guys see him all curled up on the sofa in the background of all my videos. He's such a staple, like, of the sort of cozy atmosphere of this home. Uh, so I didn't want to just not say anything because I didn't want him to just one day be gone and la and have everyone be like, well, where did Duke go, you know? So um, I will make a post probably the day that it happens, um, not a video, but just like a community post. Uh, it, I think it'll probably happen here within the next couple weeks. Um, you know, he's 14 years old. He's really had a long, super healthy and happy, incredible life. Uh, but he's really in a lot of pain, having a hard time getting around. He's going to the bathroom in the bed on the sofa without realizing it. Uh, we're trying our hardest to keep him comfortable, but he's now got a very large lump in his throat and he's making these like sounds, these coughs that are very much like heart failure symptoms. It's just, it's a lot. Um, and of course, it's, I know it's so hard, and so many of you out there have had animals, pets. It's so hard to know like when is the right time. You know, you feel so guilty, you wanna make sure that they aren't in any pain, but at the same time, like part of you feels like you're murdering your baby. Like, I don't know. I, I know that might be dramatic, but I'm having a lot of feelings about it. I'm definitely able to keep it together right now but it's gonna be very hard. Duke was with me before my husband was with me. Um, so uh, yeah, he's he was our first baby. He was, he's always been there. He's just been a wonderful dog. He came from the pound. He was like 20 bucks, like at some event at our local, like literally like animal control. Like he didn't even come from the Humane Society. He was an animal control dog. And he's just been the most wonderful, loving, sweet, boy ever. I'm not going to cry right now. We'll deal with that later. But I just thought you guys should know. And we actually found a vet that's going to come to the house and do it here with us and uh, so that he's in his home and he's not stressed. So uh, we've we've kind of worked that out. And um, now we're just kind of, you know, waiting for him to tell us it's today's the day. It's time. So uh, I just, yeah, I just thought you should know. And with that, I guess those are all the life updates. Please, let me know if you made it to the end of this video where it's literally just me telling you about my life. Um, but, you know, like I said, you're my friends. I feel like you should know. So that's where we're at. I hope everybody has a fabulous week. And 
um, saves money and kiss and hug your pets and, uh, I don't know, drink some coffee and smell some pumpkins. I, of course, will be back to my regularly scheduled programming after this, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for caring. Makes me feel good. Anyway, bye.